What's up, YouTube? What's up, Undisputed Pressure Nation? This your boy, Reggie, a.k.a. Mr. Undisputed on Pressure. And today I'm going to be showing y'all my DIY Poman 12-volt software system that I built myself. And I just want to show y'all how I did it. And a couple of my subscribers have been waiting to see it. So here it go. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you can get notified every time I drop that pressure. On pressure. Let's get straight into it. First thing first, let's state the obvious. It is a wooden skid. Uh, I found it like this in Baton Rouge. It's just a local business that normally put out wooden pallets three, four times a week. They started putting out pallets like these with the rails, the wooden rails and balls, whatever you want to call it. So I instantly saw that I could do something with this because it had the rails on it. So me and my lady was riding by and I saw it. I said, babe, I'm finna go get that. So we hop out the truck. <laughs> we put it on the back of the truck. So shout out to my lady, Casey. She helped me put it on the back of the truck and I took it from there. So only thing I did after we put it on the back of the truck is I came home. I spray painted everything all black. Put a couple of D-rings on here from Harbor Freight. So this could tie down and make it a ladder rack, which is real cool. I thought that was a real cool idea. Um, I also went to Harbor Freight and put some wheels on it. So if I need to use the trailer for something else, I could take it off the lock and chain, make sure the tank's empty, and then just roll it off the trailer and do whatever else I want to do with it. So I thought that was also a cool idea too. So back up on the skid, let's just start. I got the ever start. 6 volt to 12 volt battery chargers. My own charging station what I use to charge up my 12 volt battery. Uh, battery come from Walmart. This is my wire harness kit with the off and on switch. Got it off of Amazon. Uh, they anywhere from $10 to $20. This is a Liberty Gardens hose reel. Hose up to 200 feet of hose. This is a half inch poly braid hose with the uh, Sudner ST510 soft wash gun. With the two banger nozzle, or uh, half a J rod, what some people call it. By the way, I got a J rod on the way. I ordered me one, so that's coming in soon. Um, this is my Pentair meter system, aka blend manifold, proportional system, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is my SH tank, 15 gallons, water tank, 15 gallons, and this is my surfactant tank, Home Depot bucket, five gallon surfactant tank. The 55 gallon tank is just in case I need more than 15 gallons of SH if I'm doing a real big job or not. But for the most part, the 55 gallon drum just stays empty. But I'm getting ready to take that off and put another hose reel on here and put my pressure washing hose on that side. So I won't have to worry about being unprofessional and stuff. Yes, I still got a little ways to go. Just the last thing I want to put on the skid is another reel. But anyway, let's keep it going. I already have it primed up, but it's hooked up to my... Uh, Everflow five and a half gallon per minute pump and wired down with this vinyl tubing from Home Depot. Comes through here, out the hose reel, out the hose, out the gun, boom. And basically that's pretty much it, man. I uh, took these off of, uh, off another pallet and made a wall so this can come up here and it looks presentable. I like it. Um, but yeah, man, that's it. So y'all stay tuned because I know y'all want to see how this thing work. So it's already primed, but I'm finna put the phone on the camera stand so I can get y'all some good footage. So uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Like, comment, subscribe. On pressure. All right, Pressure Nation, we back. We finna do a little distance test with the 12-volt system to see how much distance we got, how far, how far out the gun shoots. On pressure. Feet, 34, basically 35 feet, so y'all can see I ain't lying, numbers don't lie, 34 feet, so you can get about a good 34, 35 feet out of my system, man, Po man skid, 12-volt software system by yours truly, Mr. Undisputed on press.
Like, comment, subscribe. Stay blessed. Stay undisputed. On pressure. All right, undisputed pressure nation. We back, baby. I got my hoes rolled out a little bit. I got my Chevrolet X2 510 softwash gun. And right now we're putting it on the straight nozzle to show y'all that it can clearly reach two stories. This roof that's covering our basketball court is basically a two story roof. So you can see that it shoots that high and you can cover two stories with my poor man softwash kit. Old press up. Got a little wind, but y'all can clearly see. But it's easy to get up two stories. Shooting way over the top. And the little poor man DIY kit works pretty good for me. It's do the same for y'all also. And now, we're going to switch to the straight nozzle to the fan tip to show you how easy and how much time you can save on pre-treating and post-treating concrete. So I'm going to grab the phone for a second and let y'all see how much space we can cover in such a short time. So pre-treating and post-treating won't be that hard on anybody. On press. Easily can pre-treat, easily can post-treat. And bam, maybe 10 seconds. We just pre-treated this whole slab right here. Little part of this slab, pre-treat. We're gonna try again on this side with the fan tip. Show you how easy, on press. Easily pre-treating or post-treating, whichever you're doing. Help get rid of those lines in the concrete, whatever the surface cleaner couldn't get. Bam, just like that. We just post-treated or pre-treated, <laughs> either one, this whole handicap slab in pretty much 30 seconds. That's how easy it is to pre-treat and post-treat with a 12-volt softwash system. I hope this video helps somebody, man. I got to go get ready. I'm taking my kids out today. We finna go have fun. Dad and I working this weekend. So it's time to go spend a little, little of that pressure washing money. Thank y'all for watching, man. As always, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think about my system. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit the all so you'll be notified every time I drop. And as always, man, from the bottom of my heart, thank y'all for watching me. Stay blessed. Stay undisputed. Oh, pressure.